He's Dodge Chrysler Jeep Ram Big Board Friday. It is our first show of 2020. Coming up tonight, we've got coverage from 16 high school basketball games. We've got boys girls double headers in the NLL plus the walleye are home. But we start tonight with our game of the week. It is a rivalry showdown between St. John's and St. Francis. St. Francis three and two in the track. St. John's four and one. This one played inside the Titan Dome in front of a huge crowd. First half, St. John's creating the turnover. Sam Swift, he's it up ahead. CJ Hornby. The initial shot doesn't fall. Jaden McKinstry right behind, cleans up the boards. And then for St. Francis, it's Rashad Craig. Watch this. Acrobatic move, gets a bucket plus the foul. And then more from the Knights. They get it to David Kaiser. He drives, pulls up, mid-range, jumper would fall. And then right before the half, Brady Lichtenberg feeds Gary Batch, cut into the hoop, lays it up and in. Batch had 17, tightens up 11 into the locker room. Second half, St. Francis trying to use their size to come back. Carson Mays throws down a two-handed jam, but St. John's wouldn't take their foot off the gas. Batch to Michael Greenlee, the freshman, buries a three. St. John's wins at 60-45, and Christy Copanis has more from the Titan Dome. A sellout crowd at the Titan Dome tonight, and this one didn't disappoint. St. John's took a double-digit lead into half, but in the second half, St. Francis hung around. It wasn't until the final minutes that the Titans started to pull away. This one is Mike Schoen's first rivalry win as a head coach. It feels really good, especially coming off of last year, and then getting Coach Schoen his first career head coach and winning at St. Francis. Uh, it was a really nice win for us against a really good team. I don't know if it was one thing or another, but I, I will tell you, Gary Batch has just sets the tone for us in so many different ways, and now he's starting to see success with the ball going in the basket. He was never necessarily a scorer before. So I think a guy like Gary really sets our tone and is kind of our anchor. Well, we've been in a lull kind of lately, so it was really good for our confidence. It feels great. There's no really words to describe how good I feel. You know, it's good to win, better to win and wake up tomorrow with a win than a loss and you just kind of get ready for a Finley team that's playing extremely well and then we have Central and Anthony Wayne over the weekend, so it's not a whole lot of time to celebrate. You just got to get ready and prepare and keep getting better. Going into next week, next Tuesday against Finley, uh, that'll be a tough game playing at their place and they're a really good team, so I think we need to carry this momentum for the rest of the season and I think we'll be good to go. And like Coach Schoen said, this one will be short-lived. They'll wake up tomorrow as winners in this rivalry, but they have a tough slate of games ahead. Reporting from St. John's tonight, Christy Kopanis, WTOL 11. Central Catholic still unbeaten in league play, welcoming in Clay tonight. Cameron Alls committed to Defiance College earlier this week. Congrats to him. Quick start for the Irish. Dominique Cole, top of the key, left open. Splashes down a three. Central is off and running. But Clay would come back. They break the full court pressure and they work it down to the big man, Frank Wagenfeld. He would slam it down with two hands. But Central just too much in this one. Watch the freshman, Chico Johnson. Coast to coast, he would get fouled. He'd throw it up. It's good. Central wins it 52 to 41. Staying in the Three Rivers, Fremont Ross making that trip west. Little Giants at Whitmer tonight. Coach Ryan Brown making some halftime adjustments. Panthers up six, start of the third. Make that nine after Grady Lee nails a three ball here. But Anthony Van showing he can throw the long ball too. Keeping the Little Giants close in this thing. But watch this ball moving from the Panthers. Ends with Tony Delvo down low for two. Whitmer wins 82 to 70. Our final stop on the track, the league favorites from Lima Senior hosting Finley. Trojans on offense, pass down low to A.J. Adams, hooks it up and in. And then later, Adams to the corner to Max Roth. He buries a triple plus a foul. Finley staying close in this thing. And then it's Isaiah Moore attacking the basket. Muscles it up and in for two. Later, Moore driving right through the defender, floats it up. It's good, fourth quarter now. Lob down to Adams, he puts it in, but Lima Senior too much down the stretch. Finley loses a close one, 48-45. NLL now, Perrysburg beat Southview last night to take over first place in the league. Couple teams chasing them here, Anthony Wayne and Northview. Sean Craig ready to roll, first quarter though. Zachary Zuhl, a steal for the Generals. He go coast to coast, he had 28. Later, Wildcats in transition. Justin Noe down low, nowhere to go. Sean Craig, nice finish. He had a season high 28 points in the game. Then it's Grant Hartnett with the ball. He decides to keep it himself. Drives across the key, a nice touch off glass for two. Northview holds off the Generals, winning it 69-64. Next up in the NLL, Springfield having a great year, making the trip to Bowling Green. Blue Devils on offense, Bo Booker. Fires it to the corner for Denzel Stewart. He knocks down a triple. Bobcats now, they get a three of their own. From the corner, Justin Kerfis rattles it home from deep, keeping the Bobcats in it. But Springfield too much down the stretch. Watch Elijah Kimmins 
Two-handed flush and Springfield wins a close one, 41-39. Our final stop in the NLL, a couple teams who could certainly use a win. Napoleon making the trip to Maumee. Fast start in this one for the Panthers. Reed Geiger tries a three, won't go, but the big man, Garrett White, working hard on the glass, puts it up and in. He had 10 Maumee up early. This one is close all night. Wildcats working it around the perimeter. Preston Hinosa, Hinojosa nails a three from the wing. He would finish with 16. Napoleon right in it, and then more from the Wildcats. Zach Rosebrook down low, finds Josh Mack. Pulls up from the free throw line. Napoleon wins it 51-49. City League now. The Rogers boys rolling. Number two in the state in Division II. Rams home tonight with Bowser. And the Rams were honoring the 2019-20 Hall of Fame class. First quarter, two minutes in. Keaton Wyatt dribbling. Alley to oop to Desha Deshaun Nelson. The senior knocks it down for the dunk. That's how you get the scoring going. And then Rogers, Jordan Kennard misses. But Jemiah Neal is there to clean it up. Gets a friendly bounce for two points. Rams have the ball, final seconds of the first. Nate Houston with the silky smooth step back jumper right before the buzzer. Rams go on to beat the Rebels 65-48. And our final stop in the city, Woodward and Scott. You know it's a big game with Patty Mazers in attendance. Hi, Patty. First half, good defense from Scott. Kevin Woodard, the steal. He takes it the entire way for the easy lay-in on the other red. But then coming back the other way, watch this. Wayne Cosper, the dime to Demetrius Burt. He finished it with an easy lay-in. But Scott, too much tonight. They would pick up their second win of the year. Kevin Woodard here hits another jumper. Scott wins it 58 to 54. All right, we are taking our first break on Charlie's Dodge Chrysler Jeep Ram Big Board Friday, but we've still got a ton to get to. Coming up, we are headed to the Northern Buckeye Conference. Rossford in first place and feeling good after a big win over Eastwood earlier this week. Stick with us. We're coming right back on Charlie's Dodge Chrysler Jeep Ram Big Board Friday. 